You know, adults, you really can do this imagination thing. You're like, oh, I don't have much imagination. Kids have a lot of imagination. Of course you can do all kinds of imaginative things. Now look at this. I just made it up. And it wasn't that difficult. Look at this one. This is the Great Mouth. And you can see they've got rather impressive teeth. And this little man who is forced to live in the trees because of these vicious predators that live down below is called an Incy Tribesman. And he has blue eyes and blonde hair that sticks straight up like a wire brush. And you can see he's got a knife made from one of these teeth. There you go, imagination. And if you see this creature down here, this is the Green Jungle Fork. And it's got three prongs on the end of that fork. It impales its victims, injects them with enzymes, and sucks their bodies dry. And it's also got this to swing around. It's a spiky tail. The blue scuttler is the swiftest of the three, and it makes traveling the forest floor perilous. But in fact, they all do. That's why the Incy tribesmen endeavor to cause the vines to grow along the trees in such a way that they can climb around on them without having to tr touch the forest floor. Now, I think this demonstration really should ha already show you that you really can do this imagination thing. But I can make up completely new creatures. Let's suppose you take an ordinary object, like a pair of glasses, for example. Let's turn that into a creature. So, you've got two back legs, a long body, two back legs. All right, suddenly, this is turned into a very wide mouth. Nostrils, eyes, and these legs bend all the way back here. So a side view. looks something like this. And they can spring very quickly from the jungle floor. I don't know what to call these creatures exactly. But they are intimidating. Yes, it's true. I had quite a few nightmares as a kid. Ha ha ha.